This is Jules Marie, a 32-year-old French tennis player who is currently at a career high of 215 in the world. He was actually ranked 228 in the world 10 years ago at the age of 22, but after taking over 5 years off the tour, he's made his comeback. You may also know Jules from his YouTube channel where he documents, like me, his journey to playing the Grand Slams and more. And he even played the Australian Open this year and had a hit with Novak. So with both of us playing the Koblenz Open Challenger, I decided to challenge him to a match. And this is what happened. So here we go, me to serve first against Jules on the centre court at the 100 Challenger at Koblenz Open event and we're on the stadium show court. Uh, I've managed to take the first point. Nice, good, confident start. That's always what we like to see. Obviously playing against Jules, he's a bit of a chess master on the court. He plays in a way where you almost feel comfortable on every shot, but he very quickly moves you around, strings you out, exactly as you can see right here. And you're forced to play always on the back foot. And you always just about feel like you're in it but you're not. And I think that that's the one of the things Jules does the best. Of course, having years, years, years more experience than me on the tour, and not only on the tour, at a much higher level, I knew that I had to use my weapons to the best of my ability, use what I can do well to try and, you know, win as many points as possible, hang in there. And for me, that's serve and forehand. And also just hustling as much as possible to really try and find a groove just like that, to come forwards and win as many points in a row uh, as I can. And a chance to go 4 2 up here, but just travelling long. Should I ask you a few questions yeah. about the tour? Yeah. Let's start off at Australian Open. Yeah. First Grand Slam for you, yeah? Uh, third, because I played uh, the French Open twice, 2013 and 15. But the first Australian Open? First Australian Open, and the uh, French Open I got some wild count, so first time that I got into the, the yeah. qualies uh, by myself. Yeah, and you enjoyed it? It was good? No, I <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It was unbelievable. Uh, yeah, it was so good, man. You played with Novak Djokovic, is that? Yeah. And, and how, how was it? What was it like to practice with him? I've heard it's pretty stressful. But yeah, I, I played against him, with him uh, when I was a uh, sparring partner at the French Open. Mm -hmm. it, I, I was uh, yeah really tight, and now I didn't have the same statue, you know? Statue, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, I was sparring partner and I was player, so I was not tight at all. It was really nice, really cool. Now towards this middle part of the tie break, I knew. Any points here are absolutely crucial for momentum swings. Definitely trying to get that really deep backhand, slightly over, shooting that one, really wanting to get some good depth on it. But as you can see here, once again, trying to get on that forehand side and check out up the line, paying off that little risk that I took, really working in my favor here. And it's neck and neck. Every single point is either going to, to, to one or the other person. There's not a lot of two or three point swings. So you can tell the nerves were quite high. But well, quickly guys, I have some big news. As of right now, we've started a brand new channel called Felix Mishka. This channel is going to take you behind the scenes of the Tennis Brothers main channel and my journey along with much more. So head over to the channel or click the link in the description to go there and subscribe. First video on the channel is going to be a practice session between me and Jules where we battle it out in some proper games. So let's try and hit 5,000 subscribers before that video goes live this coming Saturday. Both of us very competitive, obviously wanting to win. So, you know, we were both trying our best out there. And again, getting an opportunity to come forwards with the forehand, not quite doing enough. And that shot, Jules hits amazingly. Jules backing up with some great serving. I knew he was going, I had a suspicion. Gotta win my points on serve now. And I managed to return the favor on my serve. Who is the player that you practice with who you'd say is the most difficult or like a bit of a maverick? Thinking maybe an, an another play, a player that wears Celio maybe a little bit. You mean in a match? Well, both. Maybe in a okay. match that you've played so, or in a practice. Yeah, so Djokovic could get angry. Really? Yeah, many times. And uh, Benoit as well, but uh, I played him three times, only once uh, during ATP tournaments. Yeah. Uh, every time he didn't get angry. Going in here at 6 all, this next change is by far the most important. It can all be made or broken right here. She was decided to go for the drop shot, not quite able to pull it off, giving me a slight advantage here. Getting some great depth, just going long on the return. Had the right intentions. Uh, I definitely think that this point here was absolutely the most crucial. And just putting that ball into that didn't manage to get the mini break, which put me under a lot of pressure here to try and win this point on serve. Managed to win it, being nice and aggressive and decisive in the key moments. And this is the most important point of all. A point here to see who gets the first match point, neither of us wanting to budge. You can see us both biding our time, looking for an opportunity to strike. I try to slow it down with the slice, get it on my forehand side, which Jules takes the bait. Once again, trying to go for the same thing, to draw him out. Slicing, being very effective, looking to really use that backhand to my advantage. Jules, great ball up the line, 
managing to defend really well on my forehand side, getting back to neutral, and Jules missing wide. So I've got my first match point at 9-8. Jules goes with the second serve, and I just hit the top of the net tape. What is your go-to cheat meal? Do you have one? Something that you're like, oh, I need to eat this? I love dessert. Yeah. I love cheesecake, <laughs> tiramisu. Sweet tooth. I love <laughs> sweet, yeah. When I'm in tournament, when I uh, like eat a cheesecake before the first match, if I win the first match, you have to I keep have to keep the so routine. So a bit superstitious. It's impossible. Yeah, yeah, in Kuwait, <laughs> when, we, when I see you, yeah, I was eating the same thing at the same place. At the same time? Same, not the same <laughs> time, but uh, yeah, every night. 9 all. here's where it's made or broken. Jules with an amazing serve down the tee. All the pressure lies on me. Decide to be aggressive, come forward to the net. And I can't quite put it over. And I lose 11-9. I was going to say, if the video gets a certain amount of likes, okay. maybe we can play a doubles at some point in okay. the future. Sure. But, but I wanted to know how many likes on the video to, to play doubles. Can do 15. 15,000 15, likes. So you heard likes. 15,000 likes. And obviously, all of you people have to go subscribe to Jules Marie. Um, <laughs> yeah. Here's Jules' channel. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. You and uh, yeah, we're excited to play on Wednesday. First challenge, doubles. <laughs> Vamos! Bye -bye.